Good morning everybody, it's Rich. It is uh, very early on Sunday morning and I couldn't sleep. I've been up since about 5 in the morning. The sun is just coming over the mountains and it's just a glorious day. I'm sitting on one of my favorite beaches in the world and I was inspired to share a story with you. One that I've never shared before. So I was uh, 16 years old. In fact, it was the day after I got my driver's license. And school had just ended. And I got a phone call from my dad. And he said to come over to my grandmother's condo. This was back in Fort Lauderdale. He said, come over right now. And that was about a half hour drive from where we lived. And he didn't tell me why. I was to, to come over there, but I knew why. I knew that my grandfather had passed away. My grandfather had Parkinson's disease, and the sad part is I never knew my grandfather when he was healthy. The entire time that I knew him, from the time I was a little kid, he was very sick, he shaked a lot, he didn't speak a lot, so I never really saw my grandfather express himself as a man as a grandfather, as a human, very, very little bit. And so I remember driving, it was the day I just got my license, the day before, so I remember driving that half hour drive, I was kind of nervous, and I got there, and my grandfather's body was already gone. And my parents were there, and my grandmother. And if you've known me for a while, my grandmother, I wrote a book about my grandmother, I called it My Grandma, My Guru. I, I absolutely love my grandmother. And the reason was she was the happiest person I ever knew. And I remember walking into the condo and my grandma was just sitting there all alone on her favorite chair. And she was telling me the story of what happened. How my grandfather basically just fell to the ground. And in this last moment, he looked at my grandmother and he just said to her, hold me, hold me. And they embraced and then he passed away. And I remember thinking, wow, I had never heard him express himself ever. And I remember in that moment thinking, as a 16 year old boy, that I was gonna express myself as a human being. That no matter what, I was gonna express what was inside of me, inside my heart, and inside my soul. So fast forward, my home right up here, it's about three years ago, I had an epiphany one morning in the shower. I was in the shower and I had this weird thought that came to me and the thought was that I was the luckiest guy in the world. I was the luckiest guy in the world. I remember thinking, where did that thought come from? And what I quickly realized, the reason that I felt that I was the luckiest guy in the world is that I do get to express my soul and I get to express my soul every day through my work. So the point is that every single day, I get to do what I love. I never feel like I've worked. It's Sunday morning right now. I should probably be in bed still. But I was inspired to share the story. This is my quote unquote work. So I'm the luckiest guy because I get to do what I love all day, every day. And it always feels like play, never work. The next reason I'm the luckiest guy in the world is doing what I love, which is supporting people like you, funds my lifestyle. I make a really, really good living. I get to live right here on the beach, simply doing what I love. And the best part of all is doing what I love makes a real difference for other people. Think about it, I get to express my soul every day. It makes me a whole bunch of money and it makes a real difference for people all around the world, people just like you. Hence, the epiphany that I was the luckiest guy in the world. Well, it gets even better because this is where I can support you. Okay? This is not just me talking about, oh, go out and express your soul and do what you love. I do a lot of that. But what I really do is I teach people the actual how to go out and do it. So this is just a little heads up. Later this week, you're going to get another email from me. You're going to get a few in the next week or two where I'm going to invite you to join me on a free call, which is actually taking place next week. So specifically, if you are a coach, if you are someone that does similar work to me, if you're a coach, if you're an author, if you're a speaker, if you're a thought leader, or if you want to be a coach, if you know you have the ability inside of you to make a difference for other people, 
if you know you have a gift, if you have something inside your soul that needs to be expressed that you feel other people will benefit from, then I want to support you. If you're a coach, I can help you to get your message out there in a big way. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to get to do what I love every single day. So be on the lookout for, a min for an email from me where I'm going to share with you exactly what you can do to build your business. A business that is based upon you being yourself, being totally authentic. It's, it doesn't get any better than that. So it's funny, I haven't thought about the story in many years actually. I think about my grandpa a lot. I think about my grandma all the time. But I just haven't thought about that story. I just can't imagine. I missed it by like a half hour. My grandfather sitting there, his last words. A man that I never saw express himself with my grandmother. Just saying, hold me, hold me. Life is short, everybody. Let's express ourselves. Let's do it for ourselves and let's do it for the world. Have a great day, everybody. Be on the lookout for that email and join me next week. Thank you.